Hello friends, how are you doing? In the previous parts, we learnt about how Jamstack architecture works and we took a look at Zola, uh, which is the static site generator that we are using to build this website, uh, website for our IT crazy. We created a project structure using the Zola's init command and you can see the structure uh, right here. Then we added a theme, which was deep thought. And the process of adding theme was very simple. It was just cloning uh, the deep thought repository from GitHub inside themes directory. You can also manually download the deep thought repository from GitHub and then put the contents in this way, like put the deep thought folder inside themes directory. Then you, we also changed the config.toml file to say that we want to use this theme. So we added a theme variable and then we were missing some variables uh, in config.toml, which were required for deep thought to work. So it was not working. Then we copied these variables from the GitHub page of the deep thought. And it, it looks something like this right now. I refresh. It's looking like this. Um, it is possible when you try to read from the readme and try to add a variables one by one, it is possible that you can miss few. So we have found a nice way to get all the configurations from the theme and change whatever what we want. So what we will do is copy the themes config.toml. So each theme is also a Zola website. So it has the same structure as the website that you have. So it has a config.toml, it has a content directory, it has few extra files, which you can also add. It has SAS like we have, it has static templates, etc. The only special thing about theme that it might have a theme, it should have a theme.toml. Uh, we will not worry about it right now. All we want to want is write uh, this file, config.toml. We want this file inside our directory. That is, we want to overwrite our config.toml by the config.toml present inside deep thought or the theme, whichever theme that you add. So we can just, this command will do that. It will overwrite the config.toml that we have. And then we now have all the variables that deep thought uses uh, to configure the website. And we can change the parts that we want to change. Uh, by the way, if you have not seen the previous parts and if you're not getting what is happening, please, uh, check that videos out will you can can find the links above and you can also find the links in the description okay let's continue we will add the url of our website which is itcracy.com in our case uh, sorry not commenting itcracy.com the title we can change to itcracy then we'll leave uh, others as it is change whatever you want to change and keep the others the now let's try what what happens if we run this code so we'll do zola serve and refresh the theme is not coming up why was that uh the reason is previously also we did the same thing we missed uh we are not telling zola to use the theme how will it know which theme to use you can have multiple themes by the way inside themes directory but you have to say which theme you want to use so we will say theme equals to deep thought. So this is the folder name that you have inside themes directory. And if I restart this, the development server and refresh, you can see it is working now. And we have the title, etc. We have some navbar items. Uh, it's an easy fix to change them if you want to. This is the list that you have to change. As you can see, it's the list that we see here, home, posts, tags, categories home post tax categories etc can change them like we don't want these two uh, we just want about then about okay and now if, uh, any changes to config.toml uh, you have to re rerun the development server uh, and changes to content or any static files and templates it will be automatically reflected. You won't have to restart it. So just if you change any configuration inside the config.toml, you have to refresh, uh, restart the browser, uh, restart the development server. And we can see that we now have a different 
um, navbar items sorry you can click on one of them and as there was there is no content right we have not added any content if we go in our project structure if you check the content is empty there's nothing inside content or anything we just have configured the uh, website to use the deep thought theme now let's create content inside our website and for that we have to look at the structure that zola provides us with if you go to this documentation we can see that uh, inside our content directory the basically the content directory is a directory where we add all our content so if you see the structure here that is there is a folder called as blogs blog then there is a folder called as landing so whatever structure you define or you make inside your content directory there is the main content directory is how your website will be structured or is how the urls will be structured so in this case you will see that your url is the base url that is http/mywebsite.com/blog then there is also base url/landing so what happens is whatever folders you have inside your main content directory gets added after your base url that is your main website's url and the files that you create inside these folders that is if you see the cli-users.md file which is created inside the blog folder the uh, this file name gets added after the slash blog url so the entire url becomes the base url that is website mywebsite.com slash the folder name that is the blog and slash the cli usage name that is the file name but if you look at some if you look at a file which is underscore index.md and if we check the url that we have it is just slash blog and it does not have slash underscore index.md so sorry slash underscore index and why this is because underscore index.md is a special file what this does is whichever folder you want to make as a section that is you want to convert the folder as a section in this case the blog folder inside that folder we have to add a file that is underscore index.md now what a section is to un understand in simple terms if you take the example of blog so the main page of blog where we'll have all our posts listed if we just see even the deep thought website we can see that there is a uh, page called as posts and inside that post space we have different single posts listed there is 11th post 10th post 9th post so this entire posts page p o s t s this url you can see this entire page is a section page and a single files or single pages inside that there is 11th post 10th post etc are the pages inside the file so even if we see the url here we can see that it is slash posts slash post dash 11 so the structure if we look at the structure of this deep thought inside our own themes directory we'll find that inside the content directory we'll have a folder named as posts therefore the url will have base url slash posts and if you look inside this posts directory we'll see there is an underscore index md file but there are also other pages called as post 0.md 1.md 11 uh, 9.md 8.md and etc so the url you saw was slash posts slash post dash 0 or slash posts slash post dot post dash 11 and if you look inside this uh post inside one of the md files you will see there are different variables and inside the index file we'll have something called as title description and the same is been used when you look at the main theme if you go to the posts section you will see that these variables are used here that is posts and the blog post accumulated over time so well, generally what happens is inside this section page that is the index underscore index or md you just use some variables which are listed in your uh, theme that is listed in your template and apart from that what the template of this uh, page does is it lists all the other pages that it has and it displays to you on the screen so what a template is and how to use it we'll see we'll be seeing in the upcoming uh, videos of this series but for now just understand that a single folder is a section folder is a section and all the pages inside that are called as pages now similarly we'll create a page for our own itgracy website but if you see the deep thoughts index page or the main page it has 
something written as deep thought then there's a text below that and even below the image there are some uh, texts so if you look at our own website we don't have anything apart from the image and now we are going to add that and to add the text what we will do is we will create our main content folder or we will create our base page as a section page and to do that what we have to do is create a underscore index.md file inside the main content folder and this is just a md file inside that we will have to enclose with three pluses enclose inside these three pluses something of a toml structure and a toml structure is nothing but what we saw when we created or edited our config.toml file so similarly uh, for this the toml structure has some variables these are predefined variables which zola provides us and these very set of variables are called as uh, front matter and what happens is there are different types of font matters that uh, zola provides us with we'll be using some of them in this index.md that is title and description we'll be using and whatever you write apart from this section that is apart from the font matter section is your content part and that is to be written as md and md is nothing but a simple uh, language that is used to generate structured documents and it is almost similar to plain text so what we'll do is we'll just add some text and you can see that it is appearing that is the title that we added and the description that we added are all appearing in our main that is index page and also the content that we added is appearing below our image now how this is appearing at a particular place that is how the title and uh, the content are appearing above and below the image that is what we are going to what we are going to see when we create templates and when we use or edit the templates now just to look at what markdown is it is a simple language and we'll be adding the description inside i will be adding a link in our description which through which you can uh, look at how to write markdowns okay now we'll just add some markdown and we'll see how it looks you can see it has created a heading a subheading paragraphs and, and some spaces and etc so it's a language which is used to create structured documents it's very simple you can have a look at the description that way uh, you can have a look at the link in our description so that's it for this part in this part we saw how to configure our web theme and how to add content to our website and how the exact directory structure is and in the next part we will be looking at how to add more content and also take a look at how the uh, how and what are the templates and how to add edit them thank you